So Richard, he tried to go on with life. He started college, dropped out, took a series of menial jobs where he would work with them for a little while and then just stopped going. Although he did have one for about 18 months where he drove a school bus for special education students. Yeah. One of the most brutal serial killers in American history drove the short bus for about a year and a half. All the while, Richard was doing an ungodly amount of acid and living in his own shit, largely financed by his parents. It was about this time that Richard began to self-medicate. He thought perhaps alternative remedies might restore his penile peppiness. Homeopathic for Mother Earth, huh? In a way, you see, Richard decided that a health drink might be the restorative that he needed to get him up and running. And Richard's drink of choice was a blood smoothie. He would buy a live rabbit from a rabbit farm. I always wanted my own little bunny rabbit. I will name him George and I will hug him and pet him and squeeze him. Well, that's partially correct, mostly the squeezing part. What he would do was kill Gut and then put the blood and organs of the rabbit into a blender and make a frapper rabbit chino and drink it. Full body flavor. Seltzer Kings. Podcasts.